What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery. And also, I want to give a huge shout out to everybody out there in relationships, or if you're single, you know, hate to see it, Bradley. But it's Happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there, man. Hope you guys have a blessed day and holiday or whatever. If you don't do anything, whatever, man. But do things, you know, for your partner, man. D d d treat them well, you know, every day, not just Valentine's Day. But I don't know. I think it's fun to celebrate. Nonetheless, let's shut the hell up. Let's get into it today, man. We do have action figure surgery, which is insane. I don't even know what episode we're on. I say that every time, but I think it's episode 94, maybe? It could be higher than that, but slowly approaching episode 100. But we have some pretty cool stuff on today, and I think today's going to be kind of an experimental day. Today, we're some things are concrete, but some things are not concrete, and it's going to be like, is this going to work? Is it going to look like trash? Is this going to happen? We're going to see. We're going to find out all the, all the different stuff going on here today, man. But I think we have some pretty good stuff coming on today, so... Let's shut the hell up, dive into the surgery, man. Starting out first, of course, with the guy on the stretcher. And today, man, we're diving into my man Montez Ford right here. So we have the Elite 103 Montez Ford. Also, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and answer it right now. And I know a lot of people are going to be asking me about my thumb. So yesterday, I was working on my custom stage and arena. And if you're a patron member, you already saw this. If you're an Extreme Division patron member or higher, you got to see the the workings of what we're working on. And if you, anybody, if anybody's watching this video that is a patron member that saw that video, comment down below what you guys think of that. So everybody can be hyped up for it. but I was working on that and I sliced the hell out of my thumb using the newer trusty knife and I remember when I introduced this I said that it looked like a damn symbiote had taken over the trusty knife and that's what it did man it sliced the hell out of me I was bleeding profusely all over the damn place luckily I think I got it secure I it may need stitches but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna super glue it I guess if that is the case but it was crazy nonetheless let's shut the hell up here is Montez Ford we're gonna be I'm gonna try to make like my own singles version of Montez Ford and so so what that looks like is I'm going to remove the jersey. I'm going to replace one of the arms of the black sleeve. You guys know that I love the black sleeve. So we're going to put the right arm or the left arm, I'm sorry, into a sleeve. And I'm also going to replace his hands with mic holding hands just so he's kind of standard. So we do have some mic holding hands to give him instead of this choke slamming hand and this fist. So we're going to do that. I am going to leave the chain on there so he'll be shirtless. Uh, I mean, I guess I could leave it on there, but I'm really trying to make a singles version of Montez Ford. So after we remove that stuff and add that arm, I'm I'm going to take this Seth Rollins Elite back here. I have like 600 of these, it seems like. So we're going to swap the legs here. So we're going to have, like, that's that's my only gripe with this figure is that he's going to have these skinny legs, but I'm trying to put him in like his own gear. It's going to be like a singles gear. I really think that it would be cool if I could get some Lex Luger Elite boots, like those white boots, put some specific legs on there. Like, I feel like his legs should be probably thicker than this. But again, that's why I said today's an experiment a little bit. We're going to put that on there and just see if it works. It could look like trash, but it could work. You know, we could mess around and it work, and that would be fantastic. So we'll see about that. Next up, we have the Shawn Michaels in the stretcher over here. Not in the stretcher, in the wheelchair, you dumb buffoon. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to be taking this figure. Shout out to my man BCW. Official BCW on Instagram. Uh, I was looking for this figure, and he said, I have spare parts if you, you know, if you want it. I'm not going to use it. So he sent it to me. Appreciate you, brother. So what we're going to do is we're going to be removing the lower legs and adding them to this Shawn over here. So, uh, this Sean we used on a previous ac action figure surgery episode. So, I want to rebuild this figure, but we're not going to just leave him like this. We're going to head swap it. We're going to take this head, and we're going to put it on this legend Shawn Michaels back here, because I think it'll look sick as hell. So, we're going to do that, and then this one will be headless. So, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and put this head sculpt over here, since this is kind of just for parts now. So, I think that's what we're going to do there. So, we have kind of a rigmarole of Shawn Michaels figures right there, but I think it's going to turn out pretty, pretty snazzy right there. Trying to get some usage out of the those parts that we, you know, that we left stranded. We also have some shoes right here. We're going to be putting this onto this R-Truth figure. So we have these Ultimate Edition Cena boots. We're going to be sticking them onto this R-Truth. And also, I picked up an extra Dom Mysterio. So I'm going to put this Judgment Day shirt over here on this R-Truth figure as well. I'm trying to think of a fix-up I can do with this with this Dominic Mysterio. I'm still up in the air on what I want to do here. We are getting one in the Elite 109. I kind of already updated my other Dominic Mysterio. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what comes of that as well. But we do have that fix-up slash swap we're going to do. We're also going to be head swapping this Malachi Black with this Elite 73 Alistair Black head sculpt, which I think looks fantastic. If you guys missed the Malachi Black review, we did it in that video, and it looks so damn good. So, uh, 
that's something that I think I'm going to make concrete for now. And we're also going to be taking this Finn Balor, and I have a custom jacket that we're going to throw in here that I think looks so beautiful. You guys are going to be blown away by the results of that, I do believe. So we'll showcase that custom Finn Balor. I really would like to have him in double jointed arms, but until that until that day comes, we're just going to leave it how I'm about to show you guys. So you, you guys will see that. And the last thing that we have here is we're finally, for the love of God, this is, every, everybody always asks me about this damn Elite 3 Shawn Michaels. He, I've had this in the collection a very long time, but the foot has been broken off. It's like a bummy foot Shawn Michaels, man. Today, we are finally going to replace the bummy foot. Actually, we're going to replace both of these feet with the Shawn Michaels feet from the SummerSlam Elite. And I know that rhyme, unintentional. This is just an extra fodder body of a SummerSlam Elite Shawn. We're going to replace the feet over here so that this Shawn Michaels can finally stand the hell up. And since this head sculpt is basically busted, we're going to put the Elite 100 head sculpt, the basic 100, I'm sorry, head sculpt on there. The hair's more accurate. It looks better. It's just better, man. This one has a bunch of paint chip. It looks like damn Abraham Lincoln. So we're definitely going to be fixing up that shot. So that is our action figure surgery business that we have to take care of today, man. But I'm going to shut the hell up and we're going to dive into the action figure surgery today. All right, man. So the first order of business is probably just putting the cloth goods onto the R-Truth and the, well, I guess not the R-Truth because we do have to heat up his feet. We can do that at a later date. But the Finn Balor custom right here, man going to be fixing this guy up. This is a jacket that I got off of eBay, and it looks really damn good, man. It looks really damn good. It's this cloth jacket right here. I was afraid it wouldn't fit, but I think it is going to fit pretty snazzy. It's got a zipper on it. It's almost kind of like a windbreaker jacket, so it's not, you know, it's not a, oh, shish, what, these hands, these hands aren't removable. Is this going to even go through here? I may have to remove the damn hands. Oh, my God in heaven, Brad, you've got to be kidding. All right, so that's not going to work. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to wait on that, but we're going to put this jacket on here. It's going to look Excellent. So that is the look at that. Look at that jacket right there. It's gonna look freaking beautiful on here. But I really would like to put double jointed arms on here, maybe a white sleeve or something, so that you could use this Finn Balor a little more. But you know, he's uh yeah, we're gonna put the jacket on there. You guys will see that later on. We're definitely gonna do that. I, I was unaware that I would have to be popping the hands out, so that's kind of annoying. Next up, we do have the Malachi Black. This is very simple. Look at this right here, man. So this is the Malachi Black. If you guys missed the review on the House of Black, you definitely need to check it out. I was really, I don't know. Those figures are pretty damn good, man. I think those are the best AEW figures besides the Supremes that they've done in a while, in my opinion. But I did put some sticky tack into this Elite 73 Aleister Blackhead sculpt. So I did like hollow it out and put some sticky tack in there so that this would fit well. You guys will see that at, at the end of the video. So it's just a simple head swap. If you guys want to put that on there, I don't know if the Elite 73 will just, you know, heat it up and pop it over. I don't know if that'll work. I don't know how high it'll sit. So I did have to like cut the head sculpt out and then I put sticky tack in it, like I said. So that may be something that you have have to work through. But, uh, yeah, we do have an extra Malachi Blackhead sculpt. Let's move on to our next business. Uh, what's gonna be the easiest? I guess let's heat up the feet of the R-Truth. Uh, we don't need the Dominic right now, but I think the lower legs or these feet holes being hot is going to be enough to shove these Ultimate Edition feet up inside the R-Truth legs. So I don't think that'll be a problem. What's really bothering me is these legs are actually pretty damn loose. Uh, I didn't know. I was gonna use the Greatest Hits R-Truth that I had and make an updated one, like put the Judgment Day shirt on there and then just do a leg swap and do these things, but that figure is actually not on ball joints. So that was my original plan is to completely swap over to give the the greatest hits or truth the updated look kind of and kind of like modernize the figure however i mean i could like remove the lower legs but he's got the r truth logo here and he'd be missing all of his tattoos and i know the shirt would be on there but you know with the way the judgment line storyline with the way the judgment day storyline is kind of playing out i don't think it's going to work anyway so what what we're going to do is shut the hell up and we're going to heat these feet up i'm going to put the ultimate edition in there then we'll put the judgment day t-shirt on there but at the same time we could also go ahead and heat up the feet of the summer slam figure so we'll do that and we'll also do this haven't done a foot swap like that in a really long time i'm kind of afraid we're also going to have to heat up the head of the elite three Shawn michaels at a later date but what else can we do here man i guess while we're waiting we can go ahead and let's go ahead and like remove montez's head right here and we'll remove his necklace we'll get it out of there we'll go ahead and pop the jersey off right here very nice cloth goods right there probably the best cloth goods we saw last year i, I love this 
Montez Ford. This is actually my second one, so that'll definitely be something we look into, but uh, we're going to have to heat up the uh, the ball joints right there, and then I guess while we're doing that, we might as well heat up the Seth Rollins, and Jesus in heaven, I don't want to... Surely, I hope this gets it all, but you never know. You know, you, you know how these things play. If you are if you, if you you watch surgery, you know how things go. Sometimes things, sh the shish hits the fan and nothing goes right. But nonetheless, let's shut the hell up and hit it. All right, fellas, let's see what we got going on here. First of all, let's go ahead and pop off the Rollins legs right here. Hopefully that won't show us any issues. God, dude, like squeezing with that thumb still hurts like hell because it's like right on the face of my thumb. So we got that. And we have the Montez Ford. I pray that this is not just awfulness. Hopefully this will all come together very nicely. Also, if I snap that peg, I'm going to snap my own foot off in my own ass. Got that leg on there. We'll look at that in just a moment. Will this arm come off? Uh, I don't like it. I don't like that. We'll look at that in just a moment because we are going to have to switch that arm right there. So we'll see what comes of that. Uh, right here, let's go ahead and... Uh, I was afraid of that. You can't You can't do that, Brad. You got to... Damn it, I'm going to need some pliers. Yeah. All right, we got our pliers here. Ah, Just like that. And then popping this out. And then we're going to have to pop this out like that just like so and then coming over here and let's see pop that off right there jesus in heaven that's an old foot right there man that's like a decade old foot right there you don't forget that jesus very uh i don't even know what the hell to call that got that and then we're gonna remove the damaged foot been up there been broken a long time man ever since i got this figure I don't even remember. I want to say I got this from a flea market or something. Or it may have been donated. Oh my god. Got that. Alright, now, I don't think these go on a specific side. So we're just going to pop these in here. Hopefully it'll go. Ah, lord in heaven. Oh my god, I can't believe we're actually doing this. This is actually wild. That we're actually, we're actually creating the Elite 3 Shawn Michaels. Now that those pegs are replaced right there. Now that that is replaced, man, I am going to have to reheat these feet, I think, just to get it. But look at that. We finally dislodged the trash. That is beautiful, man. Great, great job. Successful surgery from Dr. Whitekiss. We're going to have to heat these feet up, but we can pop off the R-Truth feet right here. Get that over there. Um, what do we got here? Got some Ultimate Edition feet over here. Should pop in relatively easy. It does. I have like 600 of these feet. You guys know I hate the Ultimate Edition and the Elite shoe mold, so it's not like this is much better, but it is. I don't know. I guess it is like a little bit cooler in my opinion to have that on there, but now we're going to take our Dominic shirt and we're going to plop that onto the R-Truth and then let's get this Sean out of here, man. Oh, man, dude, I'm actually giddy. I'm actually giddy that we finally replaced that. That's absolutely insane, but putting the Judgment Day shirt on Onto this our truth and then again we do have to heat up that Sean over there heat up the feet so we'll heat up the feet I guess when we heat up the head sculpt yeah look at that right there we'll take a look at our truth at the end I mean the man really hasn't like I don't know he's on weekly television right but what I'm saying is is he mainly like wears a shirt on television I'd say he for the most part like he mostly wrestles in a shirt I'm pretty sure as well so all right our next order of business is going to be heating up these feet heating up the arm of the Montez Ford like that we're also going to heat up the other the all you know the other arm so we're going to heat up all three of those. We're also going to heat up the head sculpt of this Elite 3, Sean, that we just fixed. And heat up his head sculpt. We're going to heat up the Elite 100 head sculpt of the Shawn Michaels, like so. And we're also, what else do we got over here? I know there's something else. I think these Shawn Michaels heads are removable with no heat. However, we do have to heat up the lower legs of this other Shawn. So we are going to heat up these lower legs here. And then we're also going to, well, we don't have to heat this up. We don't have to heat this up because the, the lower legs are going over there. So, yeah, I think that's it. All right, perfect. I think that is everything. Besides our Finn Balor, I think we're, we're on a hot streak right now, man, but we do have to heat all this up, and hopefully you, you guys know the lore. Oh, man, getting all of this heated up in one go is always the goal, but sometimes you run into just unnecessary garbage, and it could be very frustrating. <laughs> All right, buddy, let's get into it, man. And also, the Shawn Michaels head sculpts that we're going to swap, I don't really care about the era as much, right? So, like, I don't care if the head sculpt's inaccurate. I'm kind of just making a cool figure, you know? So sometimes that's the case there, but we do have that. Uh, we're going to pop this over here. Probably should have heated up these lower legs just so they'd be a little bit, you know, a little bit less stiff, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. 
So because it kind of counteracts. So now the peg is stiff and stuff, but the lower legs are kind of jello-y. So it usually like slides on through there. So there's that, but uh, we do have to get the other side here. So we're popping that off. Got that over there and then just slide this in. So like this part right here will be a little stiff, but it doesn't really matter that much because the you know the, the lower legs are kind of jello-y. So, you know, they'll pop through right there. Let's take a look at that. I mean, it's for the most part kind of just repairing that figure, right? It's not the biggest, you know, uh, thing in the world, but we do need this head sculpt. So we're going to pop the Defining Moments head sculpt off over there. Uh, that little leg there. Shout out to Official B or BCW for that again, man. I really appreciate that. Um, this head sculpt is going to come off like that. And then we're also going to be popping this. You know what's crazy? I just sat here and thought about. I honestly have no idea how I remember everything that I'm doing at certain moments. I know sometimes I'll forget, but for the most part, man, sometimes I like I, I don't know. Like I sit here and I'm like, damn, what? How do I remember how to like what I was doing and what you know what I mean? How do I remember the fix up that I was doing? But I guess I don't know. I just been doing it for almost a hundred episodes now and I have my thoughts clear I don't know what do you guys think about that take I don't know is it crazy or I don't know like I'm just gonna shut the hell up and continue switching these Shawn Michaels feet I don't know what the hell I'm saying sometimes this is actually like a really tricky thing that's the that's the way that I've always found to do it like kind of slide it behind the heel and then it usually goes in there man holy hell this Shawn Michaels looks good. Sorry, I'd probably scared the hell out of somebody, but dude, this is, this is fantastic. I've been waiting to fix that figure up forever, man. Damn, that's nice. Love to see it. We also need to pop this arm off like this. Get that over there. Pop this arm onto here. Should be, should go because they're both double jointed arms, you know, nothing too crazy. It's popping the god in heaven. Why is that not going on there? Hopefully that means it'll be snug once it is on there and it's not just garbage. Alrighty, now I'm gonna pop this hand out. Uh, this head sculpt needs to go onto here. Forgot about that. That's going on there. Beautiful. Get that out. And then this head sculpt. Popping that off. Putting on the greatest hits head sculpt, which is still the best Shawn Michaels head sculpt to exist from Mattel. Need to use that likeness on every damn Shawn Michaels they ever do, man. But then we have Montez right here, and then after we get this in there, man, we're going to take a look at everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. So we're going to pop that in there, that in there. We're going to put the necklace on here, and then we're going to plop on the Elite 103 head. Ah, and that is it. All right, man, here's everything we did today, and I think it's a successful day. You know, starting out, I, you know, I didn't know how many results we'd have. I was kind of, you know, scrambling, but I think that everything came together quite nicely. I think it was a good day for Dr. Whitekiss, man. Starting out first, we do have the Finn Balor here with the white jacket. Now, I'm going to be real. I really wish he had the collar, you know, on the top of the jacket right there. I think that definitely hinders it. I don't think it's bad, and it still looks clean as hell. I just, uh, there's something about it that I don't like necessarily. I thought about using the Macho Man jacket and then asking toning it and you know like cutting the you know the strips off of it and stuff but I was like nah bro you know, Macho Man, and when the hell are we going to get Macho back? You never know, so I don't know. I think this is the way to go. I know they've made prototypes of that jacket, I think. I think there's like a prototype white leather jacket out there that floats around the ether that you could possibly get, but I think this works. You know, it's a pretty cool purchase, and I like it. It's going to look badass on the shelf in the Finn Balor collection. You guys know I love Finn Balor, so that's good for me. And look at that, that little zipper right there, man. That's an operational zipper, by the way, so you don't hate on that zipper. You look at that. That's nice. I don't like where I'm pointing. We also have a few Shawn Michaels here, and this one turned out pretty cool. I actually like this head swap right here. I know it's not accurate, but it still looks pretty damn good right there. And I don't think he ever wore this attire looking like this specifically. And this head sculpt's not my favorite, but I still like it. And this head swap's just so good, man. The greatest hits of the WrestleMania 30, WrestleMania 14 Elite Shawn Michaels is just the best, man. That head sculpt is phenomenal. It's the best likeness to Shawn, in my opinion. But the red hair ties and the white, and again, this is what I was talking about. I don't really care if it's not accurate. I'm kind of just going for a cool figure look. Sometimes that's what I care about with my figures. I want accuracy on some, and then sometimes I just want a cool-looking figure or a fantasy gear. So that's kind of what we have there with the Shawns. I like those. The third Shawn though. This shish right here, man. We gotta clap it up for this Sean. This is a Sean that has been wanting to get fixed forever. Finally had the opportunity. Took the opportunity. Cashed in the Money in the Bank briefcase. Here we are, man. Looks so damn good, man. Now, the Elite 100 head sculpt, say what you want. Not my favorite. These two have the same head sculpt, per se, like face sculpt. The haircut's just different. But, you know what? It, it's a it's a passable figure. I like the head skull. That's good stuff right there. Very excited for the Elite 3 finally being fixed. It has good paint apps. 
this is a damn good figure. Now I just need to get the accessories and we'll be cooking, man. Next up, we have Montez Ford. This actually turned out okay. Now, I know I need to either make some designs for the legs. I'm gonna, I think the legs are a bit skinny. I don't think it looks terrible because of how lean Montez is. But the height's not bad. I think the height's passable. I think he's like 6'1", which... I don't know, maybe he's like right there at Sean and Finn. I don't know, like you guys know that the, the heights aren't always perfect or whatever. I thought about putting the thicker legs, like the actual new Seth Rollins mold on there, but I don't know, you know? This is like, I don't know, we'll have to play around with that. It's just something that I wanted to see, and uh, at least I have the sleeve on there. I like the sleeve look, I like the necklace and everything. I, I just, I don't know, we'll see. I just, I don't like these legs per se, you know? I did put Deluxe Aggression Cena shoes on the other Montez Ford I have, and that fixed it a little, but I don't know. I don't like not having shin cut. I don't like how, like, stiff these legs are. There's just a bunch of stuff there, man, so I don't know. And Montez Ford is one of those guys that I'd like to see pushed and, you know, do put on matches and stuff like that. So we'll see. We'll see what comes of it. You guys will see it at a later date, I guess. This short truth looks pretty good. I know it's just a shoe swap that were already black, and the Judgment Day shirt's not the most exciting, but I don't know. I think it works for now. You know, it's just a placeholder. And he, like, this is the thing. If I, if, if he, you know, the Judgment Day storyline ends and he's not wearing or he's not anything affiliated with Judgment Day, all I have to do is remove the shirt. It's not a big deal. The Ultimate Edition shoes are just a little, I don't know, cosmetic thing. Like, it doesn't change much, but it, it's effective, I think. And last but not least, we have the Malachi Black, man. Look at how damn good this Alistair Black or Malachi Black looks right here, man. Now, he is probably a little bit too tall, in my opinion. He scooted up a little bit there. He's probably a little bit too tall, the way that the Jazzwares figures are. But he's in scale, for the most part, with the rest of these. Like, I don't know. He He's a little bit taller than this fin. I don't know. I just don't think it's the biggest deal ever. Thought about switching the lower legs or switching the legs with Sammy Guevara or or something like that. We'll see about those things. I don't know. Uh, but he still looks badass in the black suit. I think this looks really, really good. I like the likeness better on this Aleister Black. I like more slim. His head's not as fat as the Jazzwares figure. So there is that, man. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our WWE action figure surgery episode, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on the fix-ups. What do you think of everything going on right here, man? I'd greatly appreciate any comments or what have you down in the comment section below. But that is going to wrap up the action figure surgery, man. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. They've been getting a lot of heat. I think we've posted over there five or six days in a row now of just some extra stuff that's going that's in the works behind the scenes. They got some really cool insights into some different things, man. So if you guys are interested in something like that, I'd greatly appreciate it. We also have merch on the Pro Wrestling Tea Store. If you guys have never checked that out, we have Pro Wrestling Tees merch. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We've been uploading every day to TikTok. We've been uploading shorts to YouTube. So just been very active and trying to, you know, uh, do as much as possible across all the different platforms, man. So I greatly appreciate all the support, man. You guys are absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys do enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on all this stuff down below. I'm getting the hell out of here. Have a blessed day, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>